So tell me, who do you work for? I don't want to know the name of your company, but let me tell you a little story and shed a little light on my question. I was talking to a sales guy the other day. He's been in the insurance game for a long time. And he was talking about how last year they didn't pay out a bonus because the loss ratio wasn't good. And he was kind of complaining about that. And I said, well, sounds like your customers experienced a lot of losses. He said, well, yeah, but I take care of customers, but I represent my agencies. I, I work for my carriers. What? Tell me something. When is it not in the best interest of your carriers or your company or whoever it is that you represent to give world-class service to its customers? Now, if you think about, I represent the best interests of my company, well, then what kind of care are you giving to your customers? Now, flip that around a little bit. And if you represent the best interest of your customers at all times, isn't that going to benefit your company and the people that you represent? Now, I'm not talking about always lowering your price to the lowest it can possibly go and cutting out all your margins. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is thinking about the relationships with the people who cut you checks every week. Not your employers, but your customers. Your relationships with the people that tell their friends. The people who utilize your product or your service. Aren't they the most important people? Now, I think for a long time, salespeople have been given bad reputations because they're so focused on the bottom line and what's good for the mothership, right? But what we have to be more concerned now with now than ever is the relationships that we have with the people who give us their money and the, what they're going to tell their friends about us. Start thinking about the end of time instead of the end of the month. You'll notice a difference with your relationships and you will notice that your business grows exponentially and more so than you ever could have possibly imagined if you're stuck in that old school mindset. That's my challenge to you. If you like what you've seen here, feel free to browse the rest of my channel and check out some of the other videos. I think you'll like those too. Or you can visit my website and sign up for my free weekly newsletter called the Parabola Press. It comes out every Sunday morning and a lot of people seem to like it. I think you will too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.